Hello, this is Evangelist Dr. Robert L. McKim Sr. from Carrollton, Ohio. President Trump is right now in Dayton, Ohio. While he is there, there is more things going on. I just saw on Facebook where there's supposed to be a man with a gun at the USA Today headquarters. Also in Cleveland, Ohio at the Geno's, I think it's a bar and grill. There's a man that says he has a bomb in a backpack. People, I've been saying this, I'm saying this for a long time now. We are living in the last days, not just because of the bullying, the cyberbullying I've been dealing with, but in the earthquakes, the earth groaning for Christ's return, but because of the lawlessness that is abounding everywhere and seems like every day is one or two or three or is getting worse and worse and worse. I mean, another preacher friend, uh, not, well, you know, I follow on um, social media just preached on the same thing, but he preached on Timothy 2, 3, which is what I always preach on as well. But today I'm preaching on Matthew 24. And Jesus gave an account what will happen in the last days before he returns in the clouds. Matthew 24. Matthew 24. And I will um, start reading here at 9. Then you will, then they will deliver you up to tribulation and kill you. And you will be hated by all nations for my name's sake. And then many will be offended will betray one another and will hate one another. Then many false prophets will rise up and deceive many and because lawlessness will abound, the love of many will grow cold. But he who endures to the end shall be saved. Also, in, in Wayne County, here in Ohio, there was a, a, you know, basically the husband's white and the wife is black. They've lived and owned this house for 23 years. And recently, they've uh, came across hatred to the point now they don't have a house no more. Someone not only cut their house on fire, but literally blew up their house. Hatred, 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 hatred. Just like Jesus said will happen in the end days. People will not only be offended, but they will hate one another. I'm hated for preaching the truth. I'm hated for being on social media and saying, listen, enough is enough. Either we start loving one another or, you know, there is love out there. I've, I've been seeing a lot of things, stories. There was this woman that's been dealing with, uh, her son has cancer. She has other children. Her husband lost a job. And a neighbor, somebody sent a letter to her, a nasty letter. And people came together that saw this, you know, story on social media. And went to her house 
and helped her clean up her yard. I've had, like I said, my pastor and his son who works for another plumbing company come here and help me with my drain to open up my drain again. This time I didn't have to replace my pipe. But you see, after Mr. Reuter was here and tried to cheat me out of money, I had to replace my pipe. Because they wanted over $400 to do what uh, they did here. That's too much money. That's way too much money for two men to come and run a uh, hose down with water. They're cleaning out your pipe. And they use your water. That's a problem. They use their own water. So you're still paying money for your water bill as well. The what I'm trying to get across is, and, and, and you can, you know, say whatever you want to say because you will. Because you're that kind of a person. Likes to read into things that isn't really being said. There are people out there that do love one another. But it's like few and far between. It's not like it was when I was younger and growing up. That's why I know that things are getting worse as time goes on with all the mass killings. Not, I mean, not just mass killings, but there are individual killings. Every day, someone is shooting and killing somebody in Cleveland, Ohio, or Columbus, Ohio, or... or course Chicago every day someone is killing somebody even right here in in our county of Carroll County Ohio someone killed a 14 year old boy God have mercy on their souls when the time comes that's all I got to say about it. And you know, I've been praying and praying every day. And prayer does work. Get that straight democratic. Democratic. No good for nothing. Politicians. That's supposed to be there for me. But you're really not. They say, you know, we don't need prayer. We don't need to be praying. Yes, we do need to be praying, and praying hard. Praying every single day. For our leaders, for our nation, and for all this evil that's been going on, that we will endure to the end, no matter what it will take. God bless you. Have a blessed day.